We're going to study equivalent fractions and learn about the concept of a one fraction. So here we have one fourth, and we're going to find an equivalent to one fourth. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to multiply one fourth times one. One fourth times one equals one fourth. But instead of using a regular one, we're going to use a one fraction, a fraction that equals one. Let's do that. So in this case, we're going to use halves, two of them. Two halves, another name for one. And what's happened here? We've sort of redesigned our fraction. It used to have four equal parts, now it has twice as many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal parts. It used to have one shaded part, now it has twice as many. Two shaded parts. And let's just make sure they really are equivalent. It's kind of obvious, isn't it? There it is. Two eighths is equivalent to one fourth. Let's try another one fraction. This time we'll try three thirds. Three thirds is a name for one. And what do we have here? Well, now we have 12 equal parts. One, two, three, four, five, six. 12 equal parts, so let's get that right. 12. And how many of them are shaded? One, two, three. Three of them are shaded. So we have three twelfths. So one fourth times three over three equals three twelfths, and three twelfths is another name for one fourth. 